Number one gives you a function C of N equals 110 N plus 900. It tells you N is the number of times a commercial is aired. Uh, since 900 does not have a variable, 900 is going to be our constant cost. It's not going to vary. Um, 110, because it is coupled with the variable, we know that we're going to be paying $110 for every time that it airs. Anytime you see for each or, or rate or per, you're thinking about multiplication with these problems. Okay, so $900, it costs $900 to produce. This is your constant cost and $110 each time it airs. Choice three. Number two gives you a graph of a jogger and its speed. Which statement best describes what the jogger was doing between 9 minutes and 12 minutes? If you look, it looks like this is a constant line. And it's, it's, a, um, it's a measure of his speed, of this person's jogger's speed. Well, since it's not increasing or decreasing, we're going to say that it is steady. What we're going to say is that um, it, it's, a, it's a constant rate because it's steady. It's choice four. Um, standing still would mean a speed of zero, and that would have to be on the x-axis like these two points. Number three is simply a difference of two perfect squares problem disguised in an area question. Um, it's telling you the area of a rectangle is expressed as this binomial. Remember, a rectangle has two pairs of congruent opposite sides. I know that I can find the area of a rectangle um, by doing area equals length times width. Now, I know the area is x to the fourth minus 9y squared. So what they're figuring out, what they're, they're asking you is what times what gives you this binomial. So essentially, this is just a difference of two perfect squares. Uh, this should be x to the fourth, excuse me. Okay, so they're basically saying x squared minus 3y and x squared plus 3y. Choice two. In number four, they ask you which table represents a function. Uh, remember, a, a, a function is a relation in which each x connects to only one y. If you look in these charts here, notice how two, the x value two has two pairings. And this one, zero, has two different pairings. Zero has two different pairings. Number three is the only one that does not have repeated x values in its table. It's choice three. Number five, which inequality is represented in the graph below? We know that the y-intercept of this line is positive four. And with the y, with the slope-intercept form of a line, we know that this plus or minus, this constant number is the y-intercept. If I want it to be four, my only two choices are one and two. I can cross off three and four. Now it says, uh, we, this is an inequality graph and it's being shaded above the line, so I'm going to pick the one that says greater than. Number six is a system of equations type problem. Um, we know that the number of apples plus peaches is 165. We know that it's 175 per pound of apples and $250 per pound of peaches, and that equals $337.50. I'm going to solve this by using substitution. What I'm going to do is take this equation, A plus P equals 165, and I'm going to solve for A. So I get A equals 165 minus P. And then what I'm going to do is substitute this in for this A. So you have 175 times 165 minus P plus 250P equals 337.50. So I then distribute my 175. I get this equation. I subtract this to the other side, I combine these like terms, I solve my equation, I get P equals 65. There are 65 peaches. 65 pounds of peaches, excuse me, choice number three. 